The Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute's northern campus is about to get a major facelift. Today, the executive team at the institution signed a contract for a whopping $1.6 million. This is a shift of the paradigm. This is the way forward in the future. With around 600 students enrolled at the northern campus, BTVI continues to move in an upward progression. Minister Hannah Martin commending the Institute's team for their work on continuously enhancing the northern campus following the devastating impact it sustained during Hurricane Dorian. This is a facility that will tap into the incredible talent and abilities and vibrancy of our young people. And we're going to encourage it, we're going to fuel it, we're going to facilitate it, and we're going to unleash it. The contract was awarded to Patrick McDonald Construction Company Limited, and the renovations will encompass repairs to the administrative offices, electronics, electrical, engineering, and welding lab. Minister Moxie accompanying the education minister on a tour of the facility and stands on her ministry's commitment to working along with the institute. We want you to be our partners in propelling our students and island forward in the space of technology. This is crucial as we plan to be on the cutting edge of the ever-evolving demands of the job market. The Ministry of Education's Deputy Director for Grand Bahama Designate also speaking to the partnership they already have with BTVI, which she says she is happy to continue. Making sure that at the end of the day, our students are well prepared to, to handle and to take advantage of the many opportunities which will be provided for them. Not having to travel to New Providence, but it is here in Grand Bahama. Now, contractor Patrick McDonald could not give a definitive start date of the project. However, he says it will take six months to complete. For the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition, I'm Azure Quant.